Oh, what up guys? Uh, pretty much, let me give you guys some backstory on this whole video and then we can go in from there. Uh, the reason why I pretty much picked up a 2018 Grom, as sad as and shitty as it may be, uh, my garage got broken into, uh, my motorcycle got stolen, all my tools got stolen, and some of my car parts got stolen, so that's what kind of pretty much set me back on this whole fucking shit and caboodle, but I live in a gated community, uh, apartment complex with those garages that are kind of just lined up, and I got fucked. I got scooped big time. Um... Pretty much after battling the insurance company for about two months, uh, I was able to get above average, not the average because my bike wasn't fucking average. Uh, about what kind I was looking for as far as money wise, I tried to get a full size bike. I'm not putting it in that garage again and as soon as I sat on the ground again, I kind of I fell back in love. Um, pretty much out the door, I got exactly the same of what I owed on my old bike, pretty much just with a new bike. It sucks, but what are you going to do? And yeah, I um, already have Pro Taper Honda Mini Bars installed on it. I'm working on that video right now, and hopefully that'll be popping out soon. Next, we'll probably be already ordered integrated tail light to chop off all that shit in the back. Uh, front turn signals, clear ones to get rid of those Shrek ears, and an OP MID temp gauge. Um, so we'll start shaving up, cleaning up the bike a little bit, pretty nice. Uh, as far as the Honda Civic goes, uh, the AEM wideband is installed. Uh, I'm just kind of working on some of my footage. My intro fucking sucked, so it just fucking threw the whole video out of the out of the window. Uh, I'm gonna at least try and piece it together, get it out there for you guys to show you that it is running and functioning. Um, my temps almost or my AFR2 trims almost look like that of a Y8. I don't know. I'm gonna keep watching it and kind of trending the data a little bit, but. If you guys like this, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys should do. If you guys um, have any grounds, let me know. Uh, if you are a Honda ground motor, definitely check out that OP MID temp gauge. It is plug and play, 70 bucks, and it will help you out big time because it even has a little flash here once you get over like 220. You can actually set it. I did it for 220, 230 degrees, so I did not run my bike too hot. Other than that, if you guys have anything else, please let me know. Um, kind of just editing this. I wanted to kind of give you guys a nice little clip of my, the bike. I'm excited for things to come and the Honda should be having some fun too. I don't know what I want to order yet. If I want to get some wheels, some lower control arms or start just going ham and start getting pieces for the turbo kit. I wanted to kind of clean up the exterior a little bit before I just did that because I'm not a big fan of those stock wheels but I might at least just paint them or something you know just fucking do what we did when we were 16, 17 just to kind of clean it up a little bit. But it looks like Painting wheels is coming back. I don't know, it's kind of cool. I always liked them, I always enjoyed it. If you did it right, I see no hate. Um, just don't half-ass it. It's like painting anything. You do your time, and it comes out good. Fuck it. Um, if you guys have anything else, please let me know, and enjoy.